Alright, here we are, uh, and in this video, we're going to continue what we have left in the previous part. So, this is the third lesson, and inside this lesson, we are going to see how we can make the handles. Uh, so, basically, it's uh, very, very simple. Uh, we will start from an sphere. Uh, so, uh, we haven't any reference uh, other than this reference. So, if we explain, we have this sphere, we have this plane, and we have some cylinder here. Uh, so, let's get started uh, by making the hand uh, so we will start here uh, from a new mesh and we will start an uv sphere and this uv sphere has dimension of uh, 12 and i think uh, this ring is maybe 8 and i will rotate 90 degree rotate in the y 90 degrees and scale point 5 and after uh, that we can say uh, that we have an a plane and uh, this plane will be here and uh, we can scale uh, this edge here and move in the x axis and uh, we have this plane so we will make a geometry so we can select uh, both of uh, these two faces and extrude to this vertex maybe and control l to select link it and move up uh, to this area all right So we can select this vertex And uh, again, we will uh, make the first uh, thumb. So we will start from an. We can start from a circle with an loboli. So we can start here. Select this face and cursor to selected. And let's start from an circle. This circle uh, will be. We can join this. Uh, so uh, the circle will be here uh, so this circle has a vertex of around maybe seven i think we have to start from let's start from six six vertex and we will scale down and rotate And rotate in the uh, rotate in the global axis to be here and scale down. And going again to the local. Right. So let's extrude. And uh, we have uh, to move up to this area and uh, again extrude another time. And Alt M merge at center. So 
so we can select uh, this face and extrude alt s such as this and again we have to select this vertex and moving here all right this is the first circle and we can moving to the next step So I think we can select this and scale in the z-axis 1.25 and after that let's make the other fingers. So the other fingers is uh, very similar. So uh, we will start from selecting this face and cursor to selected and again uh, we have to start from a um, uh, circle so I will start from a circle. This circle will be six vertex and rotate around the y-axis to be 90 degrees and scale uh, to be 0.25 maybe. And inside uh, this right view, we can move to this side and scale down 0.5 maybe or 0.6 and move to this area. And after that, uh, I will extrude one time uh, so uh, so I will extrude this vertex in the z-axis and extrude scale and extrude in the x-axis extrude scale and extrude another time in the x-axis and extrude scale and let's extrude another time in the x-axis and we have to scale down and let's fill this face and we can connect any of these uh, vertex such as this Alright, uh, so we have one finger, I will duplicate it many times, uh, so we have uh, one here and another one here and duplicate another time here and finally here and we will scale it uh, up to what we have in the, refer in the reference. So this is the taller, uh, I think we have this is uh, much taller. So we will Alt S and scale in the x-axis 1.2 and uh, make it like this. And I think we have it to smaller.
and move to be here and now we are uh, done let's scale it down all right and now we are done for the hand so uh, let's so i will scale the hand and uh, let's move it to be in the design and i will name it to be hand you can name it from here also and this will be the body and also uh, we have to move the hand in our place so uh, we will move to be here and rotate and scale Alright, let's move here and scale and move in this area. And rotate such as this. And I will scale the sphere. Uh, so we will join the part which is the hand to our so we have the hand we have the body let's join such as this and let's activate from here and again uh, we have to add the neck so we will start to select this edge and adding a sphere a circle and we will extrude in the z axis such as this and now we are done for this part previously i, ha I have said that that we will add let's see what we have so the sphere is mirrored so we will make something so we will delete this face and I think now we are done all right uh, so let's select this face and enable clipping select these two edges and g in the x axis such as this we must make uh, some hole here for the neck uh, so we, uh, i will save the file and let's save in a new version and uh, how we can achieve this so basically we can add a new loop here in the middle 
and uh, insert and delete this face. And let's convert it to be a sphere. Scale down. And finally extrude in the Z axis such as this. And uh, we can add a new cut, not here, but here. Alright, I think now we are done for this part. In the next part, we will uh, going to attach the head for our design.